Hi there, I'm meteorologist Robert Spett. Of course, a few things to talk about today. The rainy season front, the easterlies with a long-range tropical threat, but I want to focus in on this and this just to start off the update because what we have going on here is an upper level low you have kind of a little tropical wave right in there and then you have the southwest monsoon that continues to dominate out here and what we're seeing is basically this tropical wave start to track towards the west our upper level lows creating that additional instability in the southwest monsoon is gonna collide and help trigger up yeah we've seen it the last few days but even again as we go ahead through our monday evening scattered showers across a good portion of luzon uh, may not be everywhere especially the further south you go i think you're going to be relatively drier but uh, enough to cause some localized stronger thunderstorms i do believe with this instability maybe even in some minor vortices due to the collision of different air masses here so something we want to watch out for as we go ahead through monday and even in the tuesday as well we're still gonna be looking at those lingering showers here's a look at your flyover though with those scattered rainfalls across a good portion of the philippines here including into manila we got 32 for your high by the way for manila uh sunrise at 5 32 a.m sunsets at 6 30 and you know what's gonna be happening just an hour after sunset non-meteorological but pretty cool if you want to look at the sky if skies are clear uh the international space station it's gonna be flying overhead for a total of seven minutes uh, so it's a pretty long duration flyover and not just one of those one and dones, but it's going to hang around for a bit starting at 732 or 1932 on uh, Tuesday evening. So July 8th, or excuse me, Monday evening, get this right, Monday evening, July 8th, uh, you look towards the southwest about 10 degrees off the horizon and then uh, follow it tracking towards the northeast about 10 degrees across the horizon. So cross right overhead and it looks like a fast moving plane with no lights. Um, don't let people think it's a it's a ufo <laughs> please it's a the international space station cruising overhead pretty cool stuff so we're going to continue to watch that meanwhile the broader picture we're still talking about the easterlies here and i want to quickly just mention this long range forecast because you know way way out here we're talking about well towards the east southeast of guam out near the chuk area there is an area of convection i want to keep an eye on and the long range ensembles kind of trail this off towards our area watch this as we go ahead 12th the 13th passes over the philippines um you know, and we still have that convection. It kind of moves off towards the West Philippine Sea. And some of the models by the 14th and the 15th forming it off of the West Coast. And also some forming something off of the East Coast. Look at that. So both sides, the GFS actually, the ensembles trying to pick up on a uh, developing tropical system here, which would coincide with the CPC, the Climate Prediction Center, has been saying for a good fair bit now. They've been expecting something to develop out here in about mid to late july so hey you know th there's that chance now i know we don't want a tropical system I, I i would prefer not i would prefer just some localized rainfall but there has been some very dry areas out here that do need additional precipitation so you, you have to take the good and the with the uh the bad here i suppose anyways back to that broader picture we're going to keep a close eye on that long range nothing indicates 100 percent for certain right now but definitely want to continue to watch it meanwhile rainy season front dominating across eastern china the korean peninsula and now northern japan south of that record heat has continued in fact uh, we've been seeing some of these reports multiple stations report recorded their uh single day high highest temperature now not the warmest temperature ever in the country of japan make sure you don't misunderstand that but multiple days reporting you know high these hot temperatures because that rainy season front's pulling north you have record breaking sea surface temperatures off the coast just helping to modify that air and push it up and boy get that get that warmth up in place here um yeah it, it's it, it's been hot and then that heat wave even extends back towards uh, areas of china too so it's all about that rainy season front bringing flooding rains but south of that you get that heat that just continues to build in and it, it's a lot to work on here also look at the lpa right here you know there's that long range trying to pull something here by the end of the work week always going to keep a very close eye on that so here's your rainy season front your easterlies that possible tropical system and hopefully you spot that international space station during your monday evening all right big thanks for everybody on patreon it continues to support the channel uh, i can't stress it enough you guys are awesome i hope um you know we haven't had a lot of tropical activity this season 
but my numbers continue to remain consistent and i have to say a big huge thanks to everybody who supports the channel and gives us uh, additional information here and uh, uh not only on like and subscribing but also on our patreon so huge thanks for everybody there hey if you have any uh suggestions that you would like to see more of please comment and let me know all right thanks for watching number one thing of course is stay safe out there Bye, guys